with installed XFCE um, desktop environment and now I'm going to do the other reasonably lightweight one called LXDE so as you can see we've done one of the packages but the rest will have to be installed and you can see this is extremely fast performing energy saving desktop environment so um, we've already got an LXDE folder so let's go into that and put all the goodies in there so the first one's LX menu data let's find this directory and download it into there LXDE Okay, but it's on all these are gonna be on download source for July. Okay, so manage why is not working. that one um, okay that took a while okay so if we're getting notifications from uh, Falcon now because we've got a notification daemon running which, which we tested earlier so let's expand this and install it as it is and install it And that's done. So move on to lib fm extra. Only one requirement glib we've got. I'm tempted to open all these to get the all oh right, we've got the net clone one this time, that's better. Let's download this. So So I don't know what the other components are. So I won't change that, but I will change the GTK. Oh, it's not necessary for this package, right? Okay, so we'll just take the options as they are then. And install it. So we've got all these dependencies, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna load up all these other pages, it takes too long and patient. Uh, so that one can be saved, menu cache. Let's get libfm PC man. That's from GNOME, that one. Oh, 
Oh right, okay, that's the same file. That's interesting. Man FM. Save this one as so I'll have to move that one into the parent directory BLFS. Do that now. Alex panel, Alex appearance, and LXD common. So that one's got stuck again. That's all the files we need then for this part anyway. So menu cache, we should have it now. Got all the bits we need. We can enable some documentation. So now move on to libfm. So this has got a bit more in the way of dependencies, but again we've got all of these, so we can just extract them. default is GTK2 plus. Um, I wonder if it's worth trying GTK3. And there was some documentation. Yep, it's using GTK plus 3. So we can build it. It's done. Let's run some tests. It looks like that was successful, so I would just install it. And done. So now I've got PC Man FM. So we need oxygen icons for this one. And extra C make modules. We've got Q2 already. Back 
to be LFS. Okay, we've already got it installed the looks of it. User share ECM. Yep, looks like we've already got it. Um, I think I might rebuild it because we did rebuild CMake, so yeah, it's a short package. I will rebuild this um, just just in case it relies on something from CMake. Probably be okay because there's nothing mentioned in the um, BLFS book, but there's no harm, and it's like I say, it's only a short compile. And there's no extra options to think about, you can just copy and paste it in. And install it. It's done. So I'll just check that I have ticked that one off, chapter 29. Yes, I have. So, oxygen icons. Where's this belonging? Icons. So, should be back in BLFS. It's quite a big package here, 227 megabytes. So I should be able to close this window now so I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, 44%. Oh, So that's done. We close this window now and extract the package. And we can do something called enable scalable icons by running this set in. And then we can make the package and it's done. Make install. And let's complete oxygen icons in chapter 28. Back to PC Man FM. So straightforward build again. Um, no package libfm gtk found. Let's the config and try again. No. So I wonder if this is because we compiled for GTK3. 
previously main set of five one. this thing in the right order. That's better. Right, there's quite a few there isn't there. Let's look for anything GTK. Yeah, we've got LibFM GTK3, but not LibFM GTK, so we may need to change the configure command possibly if there's an option to specify GTK. Yeah, there is with GTK ver, so that should fix it. Equals three. That's because we used GTK three before. I thought it might have been. So now this should run. Yep, that has. So I'm going to uh, run this again. Remove it. Extract it again. And rerun the configure. And build it. That's it. So do. Make install. All done. So that was PC Man FM. Right, so lib wnck. And this is version two. We did install version three earlier on. So let's go up one. You can see there's version 2, version 3, so we're doing version 2. Okay, so we need to copy this particular one program suffix, looks like it's quite important. Otherwise it'll overwrite the version 3. And we can add in some documentation to be built. So it looks okay. Now we build the package. Oh, this is the documentation problem again. This GTK doc MKT and PL. So I'm going to start from scratch again. With this, but I'm going to leave GTK doc. Optional. It's obviously another external package to external to BLFS that some packages need when they're using GTK doc. So now we can rerun the make command and after that we can install it. Okay. 
that's done. So that's under, oh yes, under LXDE, even though it's not an LXDE, technically an LXDE library. So next LX panel needs keybinder, gnome screenshots to take screenshots of print screen. So let's take a download of this one. Just copy and paste the commands. And then install it. So that's chapter 34, known screenshot. So it says currently broken because old lower version is required. I thought there was two versions of lower on the this live this uh, book this version maybe there isn't then. All oh, right, it's still version five, just slight point differences. Okay, so let's save this file. Let's try running the enable GTK dot option again. Uh, let's put the command in first. Might help and I'll do it again. It's because I've highlighted the configure. Let's build this. Yeah, it's. I know it's failing in a different way. Okay, I'll leave that off. So let's rerun the config without that. better and sudo make install done the key binder that's part of chapter 25 LX panel we should be in position to build this now. So back to LXDE. So just standard configure make install. And no libfmgtk found okay so we need to do the help find what the option is enable GTK3 this time so that's why it's always worth checking the help that's better oh no keybinder found so this might need a LD config Again, all right, okay. So 
So we've just installed that and it's not working. Did I do something wrong with it? Right, the scroll only goes back so far. It looks like it installed correctly. Um, right, I might have to install it again and take a bit more note about what appears on the screen. See anything there that would affect anything else? So let's configure it again. Now it's using GTK version two. I'm not sure if that's the problem because we've been we've set the these files to use GTK three. Um, I guess we could try with GTK3, see so if that works. No. Let's see where it locates. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything to set the GTK version. Does just say the dependencies are requiring GTK two. So it could be the reason why it is 
is only that that version. Oh, there is a GTK Libs option. Um, let's look for the GTK again. That would do it. Nope. Might have used that wrong. I'll try that. Nope, still not having it. Um, let's take a look at the files it's installed. It's that LA file that's causing the problem. I haven't cleared those up for a while. Um, let's go back to Building the Alex panel. Oh, it's LibFM GTK, it needs. Oh, I was barking wrong. Tree was I. Lib FM GTK.
Double FM just go through. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. It was um after we added the with GTK3. Oh yes, and that's why I thought it was that key binder. I wonder if I should go back and rebuild this. No, it's still not finding it. Was it enable? Yeah, enable GTK3, right, get this right. Oh yes, that's right, and it couldn't find Keybinder 3 because we're using GTK3. Right, okay, uh, so let's try one other thing. Let's try enable here. No, it's still using it. Um, right, the last thing I can possibly try with my limited knowledge is to Go to user lib package config and do ln minus s v lib fm gtk3 no sorry I want to find keybind I want to do ln minus sv keybinder the PC and I want to map that to keybinder 3.0. We'll see if that works. So there's something wrong there. Can find a Ah oh, right, okay, I didn't put PC on the end. So MV key binder dash 3.0 to key binder dash 3.0.pc Alright, let's try this config again. Yep, 
that seems to work. Now, this might be a right bodge up now. Um, if things continue to break, then I might have to go back and just um, install that other package with um, GTK2. Oh, that's good. It says unrecognized options. Oh, I'm using the wrong instructions now. Right, yeah, I thought it was without one of these switches. So I need to just rerun that. Right, so now I'm going to remove this and start all over again. And hope that it builds correctly. What's the point? Runs correctly. It's a shame we can't test these. So it seems to have worked. I guess we'll find out in later packages if anything breaks here. So that's LX panel. Got a couple more left looks at. LX appearance next. And D bus will have, and we've got the optional dependencies to build a main page, so we should be able to build this successfully. Install it. That's okay. That's LX appearance. Now we've done already the next uh, package LX session, so I'll skip over that to LXD common. And it looks like we've got all these packages. There's no other options. Just build it and make it. That's done. Install it. And there's some more configuration here to update the icon cache, etc. And the same way to start it if you want to start it immediately or we can use our session managers to switch into it. So I can do that straight away and then we can install the applications under LXDE. So I'm going to leave this here so that I can rerun this command. Um, it's actually the same as this one, I think. I like slightly different update desktop database. Slightly different, so I have to run both of them so that all the details are kept up to date. Um, but for now, I'm going to come out of this, quit that. In fact, I could have left it running because I just remembered it keeps the details of Windows, isn't it, when it shuts down. So I'm going to log out, just log out, and select the LXDE session, which is up here. And here's the LXD, that was really quick. So it looks like there's no Menu. I thought there was a menu that appeared, a panel. Now is that because of all the faffing around we did? It could well be. 
Yeah, so maybe I should have stuck to GTK3 and trying to bodge it didn't work. Um, I can't even... There's no option when I press the function keys to run a command or anything. In fact, I can't even log out. There's no option to log out. So unfortunately, I'm going to go back and reinstall some of these packages. But first, I'm going to have to abandon this. So I'm going to go to init3. And then go back to unit 5, go back to XFCE and log in. OK, so let's clear up this. And also, I need to really remove that link that I created. That one there. Just to make sure everything's consistent. Now I need to go back several steps. And see, this is the culprit here. This this call, this should have been a warning about the consequences of selecting that, and that's caused me a lot of heartache. So um, this is where we've got to start rebuilding and just go forward and rebuild all the other packages from here. So don't think the documentation works. I'll just build this as it is. In fact, it would have been nice to see what the configure said. Yeah, perhaps I should have run configure by itself. Let's in let's check this. Check. I'm assuming it would have used GTK2 because I haven't told it otherwise. And install it. I'm just going to run the configure by itself just to see what the summary says. Yeah, it's using GTK version 2, so that's alright. Now PC Man FM. Okay, just copy and paste. Reinstall it. This shouldn't be affected by it, but I will install it anyway. I'm just going to do it here, I'm not going to change directory. So I will run this by itself. I don't, like I said, I don't think this is affected by it. That GTK two or three problem looks okay. Oh, it just needs GTK two anyway, so that could be part of the inconsistency as well. Actually, the fact that this needs two and everything else was using three. So that's that one. The next panel is the one we had the big problems with. So I'm 
just going to run configure by itself. You see, it hasn't complained this time. And run make. See, it's using GTK2 as it goes past there. And then install. Now LX appearance. Again, it requires GTK2. These, yeah, I didn't see this. These are all the sorts of things that could make a difference. So once again, I'm going to, I'll enable the manual again. Manual creation. Okay, it doesn't mention GTK there, GTK version. Let's build it and install. Session. Funny enough, this needs GTK3. <laughs> oh, this is one we've already installed actually, isn't it? So we can skip this one. LXD common. Again, and that's done. So let's try this again now. Log out. Um, actually, let's do a sudo so the config. Make sure the libraries are loaded and. Now let's log out. Oops. Switch back to XDE. That's better. So yeah, that's made a bit of difference. We've got a panel at the bottom now. So let's see if we can start working in this place here. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is on the power manager just turn off, oh, it's already turned off, this looks like it's sharing oh this is the XFCE power manager, right okay so I'm going to make sure the screen doesn't go blank if I leave it for more than a short while so I'm going to get um, an XFCE terminal up up here make it just a little bit bigger and get the falcon browser up so it knows about falcon it's found wireshark and it's its icon so it looks like yeah all the icons have come up quite well and you can see all the other packages we've installed As well as a few extra ones. There's that Thunar file manager, the rocks one. There's a console with JDK, a cups manager, and so on. So let's get Falcon back. So this hasn't got a taskbar at the top, so we can use a bit more of a screen. Right, so let's go on and build a few applications for LXDE and it looks like this is all going to be from SourceForge uh, 
Um, VTA, that's a different version, I think, from the one we had before. So, Alex Appearance, G Pick View. That's that one. Input. That's a known one, that's from Source Forge. Task. Let's turn it on. Right, I think that was all of them. Um, so I need to go into sources, BLFS, LXDE. Um, and I need to move VTE. Yeah, there's a different version there, an early version. So just need to move that to the parent path, parent directory above. So let's start with GPIC view. So there's no extra commands. Make install and run the set command. And if you have XDG utils installed, which you have, you should run the XDG icon resource force update the high color command for the installed icon to be slayed in the menu item. Oh, I'll copy the word command as well. That's better. And then move on to LX appearance. OB conf. Oops. So we've got LX appearance obviously. Open box. Oh yes, this is a configuration for open box. Yes, we've installed that. So let's run that. In fact, that GPIC, we should have tried that actually. I'm not sure what that would be, is it here? Let's just go back a moment. GPIC view, view is a lightweight image viewer. Oh, it might be this one. That looks 
looks very lightweight. This one about, yeah, yeah, that's it there, GPEG Pure. So, let's see if we can open a file. Um, let's try and find that opt text live 2020 text dist uh, now which was the next one no it wasn't that one Media 9, that was it. No, it wasn't that. Um, let's look for it. version. Oh, is it this one here? Text Latex MWE, that sounds familiar. MWE, yeah, there's a few examples there. Let's make this big so we get the full full size of the image, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, so there's a few images there anyway. Okay, so that proves that worked anyway. Um, so what we've we done here, so we've built this, so we just need to install it. That should be that one. So there's no programs installed, so it must be something under preferences. Oh, let's run this command again as the root because that needs to update the menu. where this would be, if it would be this one maybe. Maybe not. Oh, these are all the different icons we've installed. You probably recognise some of them.
Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how that appears, whether it's something in open box that appears. Um, there's not a lot of information about it. For LX appearance. Let's try running LX appearance. Oh, that is the thing we were in before, so to get the right the right tool. Um so what I should have done about shouldn't I here? Yeah. So where the open box stuff is I don't know. Um Yeah, maybe um, maybe it's more appropriate for open box. Maybe it's safe setting for open box. So, but it does run at least obviously LX appearance. Okay, so let's move on to LX input now. Let's see what this application does. Um, did I clear that up? Yes. Oh, so this configures the keyboard and the mouse. I think it's already. Yeah, it is wrong for me at the moment. So, this again is nice and simple. And I'll rerun this command again. Oops, not that one though. So Alex input. So it's an actual program, so I might see something new under Preferences, keyboard and mouse. So there's nothing here about. Yeah, it's just used to configure the keyboard and mouse, nothing to do about preferences as regards location. Um, I'm going to see if I can do that actually now. No, there isn't any option for that, unfortunately. Preferences on for something here. Oh, this looks like, like it's sharing the... Because this is... Um, the terminal from XFCE, it looks like it's still using those options because it hasn't got the show on safe paste dialog still. It makes sense that keyboard's more to do with the um, interface rather than a particular application. Doesn't look like to be any options for that. Which is a bit unfortunate. Um, let's try running Alex input. It's probably that. Yeah, it's the same program as we've seen before, so there is no other options for the keyboard. 
So that's LX input. Let's go on to LX R and R now. So we've got all these options here. Right, this oh I need to tidy up. did wonder if it's downloaded this one. Let's try it again. Uh, XR That's better. So just configure and make. And install it. And we'll just run this command in again. rather. It's done. So what we've got here, a GTK plus interface to XR and R, so I'm not sure what that'll be. System tools maybe. Sound on video. Wonder maybe some of these options aren't actually updating that quickly. Run LXR and R, see if it gives us a clue. Display settings. No, I can't see that anywhere. Nothing called display settings anyway. Or the, um, can we get to it from the Yes, maybe desktop preferences. No, it's something else. So maybe the um, maybe sometimes it takes a while for these to propagate onto the menu. It's a configuration tool. Ah, oh, monitor settings. Ah, oh, that's what it's called. So it's quite misleading. It's called monitor settings in a menu. The title bar shows display settings and the program's called LXR and R, so you choose which one you want to call it. So anyway you can see the uh settings you can adjust there. I won't touch any of these in case I um cock things up. So that bit works okay. Let's go on to LX task. And what's this a task manager I imagine is it? Yes it is. So again straightforward configure and make. And install and let's Run that other command again. And let's see if we can find this one. So it's a task. Oh, it's system. Task manager, there it is, that must be it. Let's make it a bit bigger. So you can see all the tasks running a bit like top. 
see with all the servers and the graphical front end running we're using about half a gig so again it's still quite a lightweight environment it would be ideal for a machine with one gigabyte of memory in show the root tasks other tasks so these are all the servers running Show command line. So it looks like it's made this column super huge and hasn't reduced it. Refresh rate, okay. So, yeah, it's basic but functional. Okay, so that's that one. So, next we've got VTE. And I'm just going to extract this here, even though it's in the top directory, the one above rather. And I want the earlier 1.28 with some options. So this is a simple terminator, emu terminal emulator, and I imagine. This is what LX Terminal uses being installed in this, and it's an older version. So make check. It looks good. What was that I just saw there? All three tests passed. And install. Oops. Okay, that's done. So VT is a simple terminal emulator and it is the very basic it looks it looks like X term. There's no menu options. I've just pasted that in. Um, let's close that down and run this command again. So we can find it. This is going to be under system tools. Might not even have the wherewithal to create a menu entry, that's a possibility. In which case, if you did want to add it to the menu, you'd have to um, edit manually. And we've got the XFCE terminal in preferences. Oh, that's for preferences, isn't it? So, perhaps not surprising, but we have seen it running anyway, so that's okay. So that's finally the last one in LXDE applications install LX terminal. So yes, it does require VTE. So we can build some man pages by the looks of it. Oops. And build it. And install it. That was really quick. So we should have an option. Let's run this other one first. It 
is our LX terminal and you can see it's quite similar actually in fact it's probably not quite as good it's probably a bit more basic than the LXDE terminal Looks a little bit more basic. Yeah, the uh, LXD terminals a little bit more advanced. So that's. Um, it for the LXD environment, so you can see they're quite LXD and XFCE are both quite capable um, and relatively lightweight, not as lightweight as TWM, which is extremely minimal. It's basically just a windowing framework, um, but these offer a few basic applications, I believe. I think. XFC, in fact, they might both offer more applications than what the book presents. Um, let's have a look. XFC, there's the home page. Let's have a look at the downloads, individual releases. Yeah, that looks like toys. Yeah, this. I mean, that that one's not on here. I don't think themes was was it? LXD themes? No. So it does look like there's a few more packages to download and can be installed for LX, uh, XFCE. Let's have a look at LXD. So look at Wikipedia. It looks like it's hosted by SourceForge. That's probably why it's not a real home page for it. Um, let's see if it mentions anything here. Oh yes, here are this. Looks like we've installed. Oh, there's that that one there. We haven't installed. Launcher. Don't think we've installed. Archiver. So maybe not as many extra options as there is with XFCE. But then XFCE looks a little bit more heavyweight than LXD, just marginally, um, as we saw with the terminal emulator. But yeah, there are a few more things to add in. And of course, you you can add in any any other graphical package will just work in these environments anyway, usually. As we saw, one didn't with um, TWM, but then it is extremely basic.